I think it's going to be tough, and it always takes coach right teams uh, some time to to figure uh, figure out how to play Villanova basketball. You know, I think uh, they weren't as composed as what you normally are, or like um, like expecting of them. But it's early in the season; they've only had so many practices. They missed some time for some COVID stuff, and it's just such a uh, a different season than what the regular college basketball season. And there's going to be times like this where it's like, you know, we have to play three games in four nights or four games in six days, whatever the case may be. But you got to be ready. And I think that their toughness and stuff isn't lacking, so I know that's fine. You know, I think that like the little things in execution wise, they can definitely do a little bit better. Uh, continue to guard off the bounce. I think that's going to be a huge thing. I think you hit on that in the BC game and the Arizona state game. I mean, a long athletic team like that. Um, we just need to continue to, to team rebound. I saw the only saw like the box score in the overtime of the Virginia tech game. We got out rebounded by 10 to 12. And I think that uh, Jeremiah has been boarding the ball, but we need everyone to go down there and, and crash the glass and be able to, to make some quick allies and go from there. But I'm excited about the team. I mean, I know they returned four four starters. Uh, incorporating Caleb uh, in there as well is going to be is going to be big. You know, he's starting, but as as a transfer, it's different. It's different playing for Coach Wright than his other guys. So you've seen it from off from the sidelines. But I think it'll still take time to get that continuity with the whole team and that chemistry because it's a whole new season. And like I said, it's only so many practices, only so many times they were able to be together. Uh, but I'm excited about the team. I think they're going to be really good.